Hello everybody and welcome, it's John Pace and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the newly released Sony 35mm f1.8 for full frame. I picked up the lens recently because of all the glowing reviews saying uh, how it has excellent center sharpness even wide open, that it's uh, very compact, um, that it focuses extremely quickly because it has some new focusing motors or something like that. Um, and it's supposed to also have a very good close focusing distance, which even though I don't shoot macro and I don't do many clo really tight close-ups, I thought I would uh, be interested in trying that out. So my impressions after just using the lens for a few hours in a couple of days, again, this is not a definitive review by any means. It's just the, my impressions of the lens after using it for a few hours. Um, the center sharpness is okay, but it doesn't blow me away. I've got, I've seen other lenses of mine uh, that seem to be uh, quite a bit crisper than this one, but that could just be user error. Again, not really saying for 100% for sure. The close focusing uh, ability is quite impressive to me. I, I generally don't shoot uh, very up close uh, or macro shots at all, but uh, I was able to do a shot and the image looked very crisp and clean. Uh, so kudos to Sony for that. Um, it, the lens has a function button. I typically don't use function uh, buttons on lenses, so I didn't try that out at all. Um, so again, sharpness is okay. Um, the focusing speed, like all my other Sony lenses, is what you'd expect. It's super fast and silent and accurate for the most part. Um, I just wish they would add eye autofocus in video to their future uh, A7S III and I'll be happy camper. But my biggest gripe with the lens is with the autofocus areas. Because I happen to shoot 100% video, and because of the way I frame my shots, uh, probably anywhere from 50 to 75% of my shots, uh, m my clips is out of focus. So it's very important to me how the lens renders those out of focus areas. And what I found from, again, my limited use of the lens is that there's not a great deal of subject and background separation. Now that could be because we're working with a semi-wide lens and uh, relatively slow. It's an f1.8. I generally work with f1.4 lenses, so that just may be an inescapable fact of science that uh, can't be undone. Uh, but the backgrounds don't really thrill me at all. And the bokeh balls, uh, I just shot a couple of images with bokeh balls in the background. There were bright lights uh, behind the subject quite a ways away, and they looked really small and hard-edged and they didn't have any funky, I didn't see any uh, cat's eye or onion rings or anything like that, but it looked like there was a little hard edge around the edges of the, uh, some of the lights or colors like green. Uh, again, uh, not super attractive. Uh, this is not, in my opinion, this is not a bokeh monster or anything like that. Um, other than that, the lens is fine. Uh, have a look at the short clip that I put together very quickly and I'll let you decide. You can leave some comments below. If you enjoyed this video, again, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, uh, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thank you.